Hello guys, today's quick video is based on a tip by Matt on Twitter where he posted that where date function is not optimized for performance because it doesn't use database indexes. Instead, you should use where between. And this is a tweet and I decided to try it out myself how much faster it is and let's take a look. So this is my simulated situation, user stable, typical user stable by Laravel and email verified ad has an index and some randomized fake data for 10,000 users. So in structure in table plus, you can see verified at index, which I've created in migrations just by doing this indexed field. And then for example, we want to query the users verified on specific date. And I didn't even bother creating the controller or anything. We just need to know with Laravel debug bar, how much that query takes, how much time. And if we load that page, it takes seven milliseconds again, roughly seven milliseconds for 10,000 users. Okay, now let's try where between. So this is the syntax with where between, same email verified ad, but just doing the between the dates and timestamps. Let's comment that one out and reload the page. Reload the page and the result is one millisecond instead of seven. Maybe I was wrong, refresh again, one millisecond, two, one, one, two. So see how much faster. Of course, it's a very simplified example for just one table, but imagine how much performance you can get on bigger tables. And this is because when you use a field with index and values, it uses the index. But if you use the where date, take a look at the query, where date of field doesn't use the index. So here, as you can see, it's even more striking difference, but maybe it's because of the caching, I'm not sure. So this was a quick demonstration of Matt's tip. I will link the original tweet in the description below. You can also follow Matt for a lot more of Laravel tips, which he's posting almost daily now, it seems. And if you want more in-depth content about Laravel and Eloquent performance, I have a few courses around that. One particular course is called Better Eloquent Performance. Also, there's Laravel refactoring examples and solid code in Laravel, they all touch on performance in some way, as well as some other courses. So I do recommend to subscribe to yearly membership of my courses. The link will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.